morning, this is Dana. I'm the Circulation Librarian here at Rogers Memorial Library. And I wanna welcome you to the first episode of our documentary series that we are producing along with HCTV. And it's called Hudson History Through the Eyes of the Library. Now, we're here in front of Rogers Memorial Library, which is now celebrating our 15th anniversary. We're gonna look at the history, the rich history of Hudson in these documentaries. I was a resident of Hudson from 1960 to 1984. And I don't reside here now, but I do work at the Rogers. But the library is a wealth of knowledge where anybody who's interested in the history of Hudson can come and find whatever they're looking for. When I was growing up, it was the Hills Memorial Library. And that's through the eyes of that building is what we're doing this documentary on. I witnessed the post office at the, at the corner of Derry Road and Highland Street. I was there when they took down the old bridge and put what I call the new bridge, but you guys called the old bridge up. I was here when Alvern burned in 1974. I was a freshman. And it, after the, fire, the brave firefighters did their job, and there's a documentary on HCTV about that, the residents of this town came together and we cleaned up what was left. So these are things that we're gonna cover. What has changed in Hudson? What has not changed? And we're gonna just talk to different people involved in Hudson, hoping to get a bunch of people involved, but this is the first step. So enjoy the show. I hope you folks really do like it. Contact us if you do like it. We can keep on making these things because believe me, we're never gonna cover all the history. Thank you very much and enjoy the ride. So here we, here we are at the inside Rogers Memorial Library. We have a great section on Hudson history. This is the best place to start your search when you are looking to do research on Hudson. Now, we have the, the Bible of the whole Hudson history is the one written by Kimball Webster. We have numerous copies right here. That's your best place to start. But we also have books written by numerous other authors, including Sean Jasper, who we all know in the town. And anything you can't find here, we can probably find it for you. But we also have a reference area downstairs where some of the old documents are held. There's maps down there, there's records down there, there's old newspapers down there. And what we have, if you need to look at any of those, you just go to our reference librarian, show them your library card and they will gladly you know go down and get those documents for you to look at they have to, they cannot leave the library unlike these books here these can be checked out you can take them home look at them at your leisure those documents from downstairs cannot Once again, we're here at the Rogers Memorial Library and we're down in the basement where all the old documents are stored. Now, like I said before, these are the old books. So these are the types of books we have history from all over the area, military, the military documents, all sorts of things down here. This is where you would ask the reference librarian if there's something specific you wanna look at. In these cases on to my right, these are the old maps. These are the map drawers. There's quilts and old quilts. There's maps right in here. So of all, anything that you are looking for, we probably have it. A lot of the material is what was stored at the old Hills Memorial Library as far as documentation goes. So we have it, use it, please. It's a wealth of knowledge. It's here for you guys to use, but that is part of Hudson history. It's here, it's down here, take advantage of it.
All right, here we are at Hills Memorial Library. This is where it all began, and this is the premise of this whole entire program, is looking at Hudson history through the eyes of this building. Can you imagine what this building could say if it could talk? Can you imagine the changes this building has seen, the people it's seen? This building was built in 1909, and it was the collaboration of the Hills family and the Webster family. Right next door to us where the SAU building is, that used to be Webster School. I went to school there. The floors are tilted. I bet you they're still tilted. You could put a marble at one end and it would roll to the other. That's how bad that floor was. Across from there is a building that used to be a parochial school called St. John's. My best friend Brian Keenan and I used to walk to school. I'd go to Webster, he'd go on to St. John's. Across the street from here is the town hall and the fire station. I remember when that was the town hall, the fire station, the police station, and everything else combined. So this building has seen a ton of changes. So let's go take a look at this building. What could this building say? And we meet some interesting people along the way, but it all starts here at, this, at the Hills Memorial Library. We're now inside the Hills Memorial Library. Now this was the library of the town of Hudson until the new Rogers Memorial Library was built. This is the library that I spent a lot of time studying in when I was going to, whether it be uh, Webster or Memorial or, or over to Alvern. This library holds a lot of history. Now the land that this library sits on belonged to the Webster family. The library itself was paid for by the Hills family. It was a memorial to Mr. Hill's wife who passed away and whose photo is right above me here at the fireplace. And he wanted this to be a very special place in her honor. So special, in fact, that the fireplace that I am standing on, in front of is an exact duplicate of the, of the fireplace you'll find in the Hills house. All the bookcases in this, in this room are made from cypress. No detail was spared at the time. You've got to remember that was 1909, so there was a lot of, there's a lot of detail in here and for the amount of money that was spent, which was a, was a great deal at the time. But this library had everything in it. And again, I spent a great deal of time here. Right behind, right in front, where the front door is, is where the librarian sat. And if you remember the old libraries where you couldn't speak, and if you breathed too loudly, they would get on your case, that's where that person sat. So comparing this library to Rogers, I'm, I'm surprised at how many books that this place actually had in it. And it's, and it's amazing. Now the musket that is now hanging at Rogers Memorial Library used to hang right here. And that was one of my fondest memories and I never forgot coming in, walking in that front door and seeing that musket sit there. This, this building has a lot of history to it. It's the focal point of this whole documentary series. And from going forward from here, we're hoping we get other people involved with this. We want to speak to more people. And we hope that you all tune in and give us your feedback. If you have a story that you want to share with us about Hudson history, something that you experienced, either contact me at the, at the Rogers Memorial Library or contact uh, the people at HCTV. And, and throw your idea out there. We want to talk to a bunch of different people because it's just not my history, it's the town's history. And we want to get everything all put together and make it representative of the town. Thank you for enjoying, uh, joining us for this show. We hope to see you again and have a good day.